between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of P90X, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com where entrepreneurs of six, seven, and eight figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Check out rise25.com, run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only. I'm really excited. Today we have Russell Sachs, founder of Campus Protein. He started a national supplement company while attending Indiana University and grew it to over 1,200 sales reps. He went from zero to seven figures in revenue. Russell, thanks for joining me. Thanks so much for having me, Jeremy. I appreciate it. So right now you use Shopify. Any specific apps that you like on Shopify or any other type of yeah, we software? Use, uh, yeah, we use uh, Yapo for our reviews. Mm-hmm. And Yapo has been absolutely amazing. They are constantly rolling out really cool features and mm-hmm. things that we potentially will, will want to build out ourselves. Um, but we'll be able to just easily plug in using their API. So Yapo we like a lot. How do you spell um, that? Y O T P O. Okay. So um, that's a big one for us. We this isn't an app, but we recently just integrated Apple Pay, which has been really? working really well for us on mobile as well as the desktop, hmm. and our customers seem to really like that as well. Um, college students again, just again, are college students. They're very tech savvy, so um, and the checkout process is really a lot easier, and um, it's actually thanks to Shopify that that we're able to do that and. Uh, probably the last thing that our customers tend to like the most is we give uh, Facebook updates. So mm-hmm. if you place an order from our site, we'll actually shoot you a Facebook private message really? for, for confirmation, and we'll give you updates along the way through Facebook message. So when it ships out, you'll get a oh, thing. And like a bot? Track. Well, it's similar, yeah, kind of like a bot. Yep. Okay. That's cool. And then any other thing to manage, like inventory or things like that, that you use? Um, we use a bunch of different things, honestly. Yeah. What's the most challenging part right now? Because um, obviously you've overcome some of the, the software stuff. You have yeah. a lot of reps coming in, even thousands of applications of reps coming in. I think the... I, mean, I think the toughest thing for anyone is is having a pulse on the market and where the market's going and, and mm-hmm. things that are going to be new and exciting and innovative. And, you know, I'd like to think that we're good at that. But, again, that's something that's constantly changing. It's very dynamic. You never know. And um, that's kind of an ongoing job. So um, that's something that, that's always a challenge. Yeah. And, Russell, the other thing that's interesting, especially, that's what I always picture with, with reps or college, like there's always a lot of guerrilla marketing. What was something you thought would work really well and just didn't work? Hmm. I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. I mean, there, I'm sure there are plenty of things. I just yeah. can't think of something right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me think about that. Yeah. Um, so I want to ask. You know, I always ask because it's Inspired Insider. Two things. One, what's been the lowest? moment in the business and then what's been the proudest moment in the business what's been the lowest Hmm. the lowest moment for us we we had a situation where we were operating with that model of having inventory at a bunch of different schools. And at the time we were comparatively a lot smaller and a bunch of inventory had gone missing. Enough inventory really? that, yeah, enough inventory that, you know, we were like, this could potentially, you know, ruin this business. Someone's taking it possibly. We weren't exactly sure what was going on. Um, but yeah, that, that wasn't fun. Um, 
but again, we, we thankfully were able to figure out that that model didn't work that well and um, were able to fix it. Um, that's tough I, because that's, that's hard earned money that you yeah. need to run yeah. the business. Especially early on. I mean, I think you think about it when people start up a, when people start up a product based business, one of their largest uh, places they're putting money into is inventory. And mm -hmm. that's, I mean, that's, that's your whole business. If that stuff goes missing, then, then that's it. So, um, you know, for us, it was, you know, let's figure out how to fix this or figure out where that inventory went and, you know, get that solved. So you switched the model a bit. One that wasn't, one. yeah, that was part of the cat. That was, you know, part of it. Um, that wasn't the only thing that made us go again, a bunch of the other things that we spoke about earlier, but yeah. Um, again, Making that was the customer experience the same and all those customer experience yeah. the same. I mean, when you, when you get a package from campus protein, you want to have that same exciting feeling every right. single time. And we couldn't guarantee that with right. the alcohol. That's tough. So, yeah, yeah. We want it's kind of cool though to have someone deliver to your door for your hand. And oh, it was, so yeah. Cool. Yeah. it was so cool. It was so cool. Yeah, we we got a lot of compliments on it at the time, and um, yeah, it's always something that that we think about. And um, we've done a couple test test models in, in New York City and different things that we're working on. But um, yeah, we're it's like Uber for body, you know, protein. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Proudest. What's been a proud moment? I mean, obviously, there's the business competition. <coughs> that, that was a super amazing uh, feat that allowed you to kind of do this full time. Uh, what else has been been proud? Um, I mean, all the sales benchmarks aside, I think for me. Mike and Tarun, some of our some of the proudest moments have been honestly some of the emails we've gotten yeah. from people just having absolutely incredible transformations. Um, some people like life changing transformations. Mm. We've <clears throat> spoken to, you know, again, it's it's a type of thing where you get to meet a ton of cool people, not just the reps but the customers as well, and it's super inspiring. It's inspiring for us. It's humbling. Um, you know, we've again we've dealt from we've dealt with customers who have had just the most incredible transformations we've ever seen to people who overcame um, diseases. And um, what do you mean? So, for example, one of our customers was uh, battling cancer, mm. and they were losing a lot of weight, and they had heard about us and. We um, ended up becoming really close with this customer, and they ended up taking a mass gainer. And thankfully, they are—they um, don't currently have cancer anymore, and they're doing really well and they're really healthy. But um, just seeing that has been absolutely remarkable for us. They were using that to kind of just keep the weight on that they were losing with the treatments right. and things like that. Exactly. Yeah. What's another amazing transformation? You mentioned there's been some amazing. What's uh? I mean, we've seen it the other way. People who have, you know, struggled. I mean, me personally, growing up. I'll be honest, you're honest. Like you, that, like you, I don't lift a lot of weights, so I'm trying yeah. to. Yeah. Um, we. Uh, you mean trans transformation wise? Yeah. We've seen. I mean, we've seen people who have. I don't want to say struggled their whole lives because they're not. That old yet, but have struggled for a very long time with their weight, and um, we've gotten them on a program, and our reps have assisted them with different workout programs and regimens, um, coupled with really awesome supplements, and they've taken off a you know a crazy amount of weight. Yeah. So um, kind of on the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, Russ, I have one last question uh, before sure. I ask it. I want to point people towards CampusProtein.com. And where else should we point people towards online so they make sure to check uh, it out? Yeah, you, you can check out campusprotein.com. You can check out our Instagram. It's just at campusprotein. There's always awesome content going up there. And then our Snapchat, we usually have a different rep at a different university taking it over every single day. Mm -hmm. And again, that's just campusprotein on Snapchat. Yeah. So before I ask the last question, I want to ask 
what did we miss with the story? What what did we not cover that would be important to talk about? Um, because I want to say my think, best question for last. So yeah, I think um, I think for us, it's it's an interesting dynamic, and it's something really cool and really special that we, me and my two business partners here. <clears throat> excuse me, really lucky to have is, you know, not many people get to do what they love, be super passionate about it, and on top of all that, get to go to work every day with their friends. Yeah. And, you know, that's something that we get to do every single day, yeah. and it's an absolute pleasure, yeah. and we've all learned a lot from each other, and we complement each other really well. Um, you all go into the Manhattan office, or correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're all we're all in Manhattan yeah. office. Um, yeah. So, what's a typical day like? Every day, honestly, every day is different, and you know, although you know, we we all still wear um, a ton of hats, and for us, it's always kind of good to know what's going on in different facets of the business, and um, you know, we'll kind of be on top of everything all the time. But um, that experience has been absolutely incredible uh, for all of us. So um, it's something really special, and we feel really lucky. How do you guys uh, solve disagreements? Not like major disagreements, but if you know you have three people mm -hmm. and you need to make a big decision, how do you? How do you? I do mean, that? I yeah, I, we've gotten to the point where look with uh, any business and any partnership you've got to have a lot of trust and I think we all really trust each other and that's something that's really important and you have to know what your strengths are know what you're good at and uh, not really let your ego get in the way so um, for us I think we've done as good of a job as we can of knowing what we're good at and we're all good at different things so you know thankfully it worked out that way I mean it's some of the best arguments I mean some of the Arguments we have end up coming end up being the best ideas right. because you know, yeah. Like what? Give me an example. Yeah, where you challenged each other and something. What came of it? Because this I, is interesting. Because this is true. Yeah. I can't think of a, a big thing right now, but I'll definitely get back to you on it. There's that. I mean, there's been plenty of things where there have been you know some disagreements, and then we're like, wow, this has been you know the greatest idea. You flushed it out. Yeah, and, and it ends up really working out well. And um, yeah, let me get back to you. On Does that. it tend to be a certain category like a new product or more on the technology or more operations? Is there like a, a trend there with where you guys get passionate with each other? We each definitely have our areas that we're more passionate about, for yeah. sure. For sure. And we're, you know, everyone's, uh, we all have a consistent. Uh, view on campus protein, but we all kind of have um, different ideas to attribute to that consistent view. Yeah, so, Russell. First of all, thank you. You know, I love the story. Um, I love doing the research for the campus protein, and what you've <laughs> created is pretty is amazing. Um, uh, with the sales reps in the company and just grinding because I it just had to be. It's a it's a journey to get there, and oh, and a lot of risk true. also. You know, it's, yeah, it was fun. It's been fun. Um, my last question is um, about a fun fact that we were talking about in the beginning. And sure. when I asked you what a fun fact that most people don't know about you yeah. is that you have a love for magic. Huge so, love. For yeah. Magic. So what do you mean? So I I also do. So yeah. Okay. I was I interested. I didn't want you to me, tell me anything else in the beginning. Just like just tell me where that comes from. Yeah. So my grandpa actually got me into magic when I was younger and it was just one of those things I stuck with I loved it I mean I had you perform it I perform it absolutely yeah wow. I perform it um, at, I mean when I was younger I was performing at like bar mitzvahs during like cocktail hours bar really? stuff like that so you, were, you, you were a paid professional <laughs> <laughs> not paid a lot but I was paid um, but for me, I didn't, I mean, I obviously didn't stick with it, but when I was in college, I mean, I did a lot of magic when I was in college. You did. And it kind of came out of nowhere. I remember doing some trick to someone I thought it was really cool. I'm like, oh my God, did you know that Russ could do magic? And I showed a bunch of people and my fraternity ended up voting me to do this college-wide talent show. Really? And it was this magic trick called Metamorphosis where... 
a guy and a girl switches places. It's it's a box. Someone put it up on YouTube. Um, is it up on YouTube? Yeah, it's up on YouTube. I'm gonna somewhere. post it in this in the notes of this interview. What's the what's okay. it called? Do you remember? If I look up Russell Sachs like metamorphosis, will it come up? You, yeah, you you might be able to get it that way. I don't okay. know. Somebody threw it up there, um, but it was in front of you know. It was, you know, one of the scariest moments of my life because I'm like, if I screw this trip up, I'm this trip up. I am literally the laughing stock <laughs> of of this uh, school. So yeah, it was uh, it was fun. So what's a f- another favorite go to trick for you? Uh, car but- tricks are always easy. I I do this one trick that's uh, one of my favorites where I uh, rip off a piece of. You, you select a card, we, we rip off a corner of the card, and I give you that corner. And we look in the fridge, and for example, last time I did this trick with a Snapple bottle. We take your card, we, you know, the corner is ripped off, it goes back in the deck, we shuffle it up, we say some magic words, the card disappears entirely from the deck, we go through every single card that's not in there. That's we amazing. take this, and this past yeah. trick, this last time I did it was a Snapple bottle, we take it out, brand new sealed Snapple bottle. You can hear the pop and everything. We pour out the Snapple. Inside's a card from Missing Corner. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's That's really cool. unbelievable. Yeah, do, you have a, cool. do you have a video of that? That I don't have. You don't. And, uh, that I'm not it. a promoter of myself doing magic. It's just by coincidence. That there you should be a page on Campus Protein <laughs> that is labeled Russell's Magic. And oh, I guarantee you that's going to go wild. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite magician these days? I love David Copperfield. David always, Copperfield. Yeah, I always love David yeah. Copperfield. Well, I'm going to definitely find that video and make sure okay. it's on this post. That is right. awesome. And right. um, Russell, just thank you. I appreciate your time. And well, everyone should you. check out campusprotein.com. Um, it's been great. Thanks so much for Thanks. having me. Appreciate it. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other if you find the sand right now I feel like a hundred grand